Hey math kids, today we're going to be in section 10c and we're going to talk about sample space and events. So um, the sample space U is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So I often think of this just like the universal set. It's just like everything that's even possible. And then an event is a set of outcomes in the sample space that have a particular property. So event, um, like if you watched the previous video, an event would be um, like disliking the ride or being an adult. So we can think of those like that. Now, um, complementary events, Uh, two events are complementary if exactly one of the events must occur. If A is an event, then so if A is an event, then A complement is the complementary event of A, or we can think of it as not A. Okay, so those are just you can reread those in your book if that was hard to understand um, just by me reading them. But we're going to go to example three. And it says, a normal six-sided die is rolled once. Let A be the event that a prime number is rolled. So A is prime number is rolled. All right, so it says, use set notation to list the outcomes in um, the sample space U. So U is going to be all possible outcomes or, or the sample space. And so when we're rolling a standard six-sided dice, you can roll a one, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay. Now we want to know A. So the sample, or uh, so everything that can happen in A is all the prime numbers from the sample space. So one is not a prime number, but two is, three is, and five is. The comp complement of A is everything that's in U, but not in A. So we just write down the numbers we didn't write down before. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we accounted for all those. And we're good on that. Now the next part is draw a Venn diagram of this situation. And so we have A, consider this our U. So we write everything that's in A, two, three, five. Then we write the rest of the stuff, one, four, six. Okay. Now we're going to move on to example four. It says, illustrate the possible outcomes when two coins are tossed using a two-dimensional grid. So this might be new to you. I don't know if you've done this before, but... So we're basically making like a graph. Kind of looks like a graph, right? So um, this would be coin two. This would be coin one. And it's possible that you get heads on both coins. It's possible that you get heads on one, tails on another, heads on the other, tails on the other, or both tails. Okay, the one in your book has like a little grid. So you can do it like that too. Okay, now it wants us to show it with a tree diagram as well. So we can start with, we got heads on the first coin. So it's like C1. And then from there, when we go to C2, you could have got heads again, or maybe you got tails. On the original coin, maybe we got tails. And from that branch, you could have got heads, or you could have got tails. Okay, and then we can summarize the outcomes right here. We can say heads, heads. We can say heads, tails. 
can say tails heads, and we can do tails tails. So this is possible outcomes. Okay, moving on to example five. Need to get space. Example 5 says, use a tree diagram to illustrate the possible outcomes when this spinner is spun three times. So we just have a spinner, looks like that. This is blue, this is blue, this is blue, and this one is white. So we have a spinner. Okay, um, highlight the outcomes corresponding to the event obtaining blue twice. Okay, so first we need to make the, the tree diagram. So you can either get blue or white, and then on your second spin, you can get blue or white. blue or white, and then you can go blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. Okay, so this is your first spin, second spin, third spin, and if we go here, it's blue, 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 white. Blue, white, blue. Blue, white, white. White, blue, blue. White, white, white. White, white. Oh, wait, sorry. I messed up on that one. White, blue, white. White, white, blue. And then white, white, white. Okay. Now it wants us to highlight. So th this is the tree diagram. Now it wants us to highlight. Um, let's see, blue twice. So that's blue twice. That's blue twice. That's blue twice. So there should just be the three outcomes. And then it wants us to show on the diagram how we get there. So it's going to go like blue, blue, white, or maybe blue, white, blue. And it might go white, blue, blue. OK. And that's everything for this video. If you need additional help, come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.